meeting of the Committee on Accounts is now called to order. I wish to acknowledge the presence of Senator Sherwin Gatchalian, who is physically present. Um, in accordance with Rule 10, Section 13, Subsection 3 of the amended rules of the Senate, the Committee on Accounts shall have jurisdiction on all matters relating to the auditing and adjustment of all accounts chargeable against the funds for the expenses and activities of the Senate. Under the same rules, the Committee on Accounts shall be composed of 11 members. The following senators were duly elected as members of the committee. As chairperson, yours truly. Um, as vice chairperson, Rosa, Senator Grace Poe. And members are Senator Cynthia Villar, Senator Sherwin Gatchalian, Senator Sunny Angara, Senator Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, Senator Manuel Lito Lapid, Senator Christopher Lawrence Go, Senator Joseph Victor Ejercito, Senator Mark Villar, Senator Rafi Tulfo, and Senator Risa Ontiveros for the minority. The following are the committee ex officio members Majority Leader Senator Joel Villanueva, Minority Leader Aquilino Coco Pimentel III, Senate President Pro Tempore Senator Lauren Legarda. Um, and now I open the floor to our colleagues for any motion to adopt the rules of the Senate and the rules of procedure governing inquiries in aid of legislation as the internal rules of the committee. Ma Madam Chair, I move to adopt the said rules. Okay. Um, there was a motion to adopt the rules of the Senate and the rules of procedure governing inquiries in aid of legislation as the internal rules of the committee. Um, here, is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Is there any member who wishes to give any statement? Uh, the invitation. Uh, I just want to manifest uh, to the committee that uh, yesterday I sent a letter to the Senate President through the Committee on Accounts, uh, chaired by yours by uh, uh, Senator Binay. And this is, his, this is in pursuant to Republic Act Number no. 11899 or the Second Congressional Commission on Education that we approved, um, if my memory serves me right, early part of this year. And that already approved the uh, members of the EDCOM 2 uh, on, the, uh, on the portion of the Senate. And uh, pursuant to that appointment is the operationalization of uh, EDCOM. So the letter that we sent contained the uh, request for budget uh, of 11 million for the last six months of the year. Uh, but obviously it's already six months, so we have to recompute this. But uh, just to give the body uh, a gist of the total budget that will be uh, required, uh, we estimated about 44 million pesos per year uh, to operationalize EDCOM. Uh, it will be split into two. Uh, half will be financed by the House of Representatives. Half will be financed by the Senate. So that will leave us 22 million per year, uh, more or less. No, And um, I've already uh, attached the breakdown of the estimated budget uh, for the committee to review. Uh, and uh, consider, especially uh, during this discussion of the uh, budget for 2023. So, Madam Chair, just to uh, again emphasize, uh, the budget contained the request for, the letter contained the request for budget of 11 million pesos, subject to change, and uh, would like the committee to uh, uh, take a look at the letter and, um, and uh, uh, discuss the ways forward on the request. Um, thank you, Senator Shor. Uh, uh, before I reply, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Rafi Tulfo and um, Senator Bongo uh, virtually. They're vi virtually present. Um, I hereby ex uh, instruct the Secretariat, Senator Sherwin, to review and process your request. 
Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. And we'll, 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 uh, I'll ask my staff also to coordinate with the Secretariat as to the details, the legality, and the ways forward. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, any statement from Senator Tulfo or Senator Bongo? Hearing none, I hereby um, suspend, uh, I hereby adjourn this um, committee hearing. Maraming salamat.